you if you feel that your child is really the pinnacle of your existence and you need to make sure that child exists properly on this earth, you're not going to tolerate bullshit. And it's not selfish to say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk away from this, that and the other. Yes, Man or woman. But I'll, I'll say Man this. I'll say this. And this again from anecdotal experience. What my parents taught me. And this is why... I, I use a lot of what my parents teach me as the foundation of the stuff that I learn. Cause then right. I, and then, but I, I see it played out. So with the aspect of toxicity and stuff, like my parents, my mum would actively tell me, look, the reason why you've never seen me and your dad argue is because we don't want that to affect you, me and my sisters. Mm-hmm. Also, they never, my, my parents have had fights when my dad's left for months on end. Or like, and they've explained to me, they've, also when I was younger, and, they, and then they've explained these situations when I'm older to make me understand that, look, when you're forming a relationship, you're going to have troubles and adversity. Love doesn't hold you together. It's your ability to come through and deal with adversity together. You don't show that to your kids. So we're going to take the full brunt in order to make you not grow up in the most, um, in the best way possible. Yeah. If you don't practice this level of self-awareness before you have children. Question. Mm-hmm. So toxicity isn't always about people screaming and shouting at each other. You understand that, right? Okay, it can on. also be toxic for, to, for two people in a relationship to not demonstrate any emotions towards each other. Mm-hmm. That, I think that's that, I don't think that's that, that. Do you think that's I, I think it's more detrimental to raise a child by itself. You, that, I've only seen my parents just once. It's not about raising a child by yourself though because we keep on saying that. Really, there's co-parenting situations and that's what we are successful co-parenting advocating for if you're not together, is that both people <coughs> co-parent uh, effectively? Yeah, you should. You that's the next. Pe- that's the next. That's the next Everybody thing. Yeah, I agree. that is at a disadvantage in a one-parent household is usually because there's only one finance mm-hmm. bringing up the kids, and that absolutely that's poverty. But even poverty, emotional stability. But, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But, but poverty actually is the biggest cause of most of society's. Like and we're not Ill. also we're going to prison, getting in trouble. That's, well, that's only one aspect of it. In more affluent places, it, it the the it manifests in different ways. So in impoverished backgrounds, it might manifest in crime and stuff like that. But in mm-hmm. in more affluent areas, it's mental health. So it, there's still problems regardless of the the financial but, background. But actually, is, that what affects know. society though is a, what we were talking about earlier on mm. was crime. This is a thing. The goalposts keep on shifting. Yeah. No, but it was remember, about I, crime. I all these and that was going on to a single mother. 100%. Bringing, and really what that is, is poverty. So mm. where is the father in this situation providing money so that this child that I've brought into the world isn't flipping, having to go out and, and shank oh, people man. for some food? Why are black women become selfish moms? What really sticks out is how they won't take accountability. They expect the world to be even, equal or fair. And if it's not fair or equal in their perspective, that is what the problem is. Never has to do with what they're lacking. May it be they're lacking skills or what they should have done different or could have done. But so much to say about poverty, yet you are poverty. The very mindset they have is poverty. To continually blame money for how well you can bring up your child is beyond me. Black single moms always blame everyone and everything else instead of finding ways to do things better. If you know better, you do better. But you choose to break up a family based off the lack of income in the household? Is money really the driving force in your relationship? Is money raising your child? Is money nurturing your child? I beg to differ. I say black single moms are selfish because they will not sacrifice for a child who did not ask to be brought into this world. Regardless of how hard it is or how you can't get along in the relationship, choosing to be a single parent whilst the dad is present is very selfish because it's not about what the child needs which is a two-parent household but it's about how you feel you need to make it easier for you to raise your child and in this entire clip reveals how selfish single moms have become i haven't heard them mention anything life-threatening but how much this and that costs People raise children for less in third and second world countries, yet you can't still find a way to be a better mum? Essentially, what they're saying is they need to be paid to be a better mum. They need to be paid to raise their children. They need to be paid to change. 
And a lot of times people think it's just an American thing, but as we can all see, it's here in the UK as well. Females are choosing money over black dad that brings stability and it's not just up to him to hold everything together. It's up to you as well as a parent to hold your end and this isn't just about money. This is about you and what you lack as a woman and as a mom. What you need to change to make life easy for your child. And if that means to listen to the man more, do it. If it means being less argumentative, do it. If it means spending less on yourself, on your fake hair extensions, do it. If it means going out less, do it. If it means being more attentive to your child, if you can't afford to do certain things, find ways to do it for free. But black single moms will find any excuse to not put any work into making a household. Rather, pin it on the black dad to do it for them. As they say, it takes two to tango. And a lot of black single moms need to understand. When you had a child out of wedlock because you was too fast, you already put that child at a disadvantage. This isn't about poverty. This is about poor choices that were already made based off your poor mentality. Now your child suffers from it. So instead of placing the blame on everybody else, learn to take accountability for yourself and raise your child in a two-parent household, no matter how you feel about it. Single moms need to understand you was allowed to put yourself first before you had a child, but you decided to be fast instead. Blame yourself for not prioritizing what's important. Families used to be sustained before your time. These females are becoming aunties and still can't take accountability. Sadly, this isn't shocking anymore. But it's always uncomfortable to watch how they'll delude in their own dysfunctional behaviour and have so many excuses for it. I'm your hostess, Remnant Princess. These are my last thoughts. The definition of selfish is a person who acts or motive is lacking consideration for other people concerned chiefly with one's own personal profit or pleasure thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye